Johnson. He is a Rubio supporter. Congressman Duffy, welcome back. You've been in this uh, position before for Marco Rubio, so let me ask you this. Why isn't tonight the night Marco Rubio takes it to Donald Trump? Well, first of all, you're right that tonight is incredibly important. And I think as you just cited all of the poll numbers, uh, what we also see is that people aren't all locked in. You see, tw you know, 30 to 40 percent of the people who will change their mind, you know, the day or two before the election or the caucus. So Marco performing well tonight. And I think and I do think he has to call Donald Trump out uh, on the fact that he doesn't have any really policy prescriptions to to, uh, to to back up his high language. I'm going to make America great. It's going to be huge. I'm going to build a wall. Um, how is he going to do this stuff? And I think that Marco has to be able to call him out and say, hey, listen, um, give us the policy prescriptions that are going to accomplish the goals that you talk about on the stage. And tonight, the opportunity, Chuck, is as that stage shrinks, Jeb Bush isn't going to be there, so Jeb won't be the punching bag for Donald, and the lights get brighter. Marco has more of an opportunity, and so too does Ted Cruz, to call Donald out. Um, and I think that's going to be important. Um, but, but I also think that there's, there is a, a concern in the Republican Party, not just about the policy of Donald Trump, but a lot of us don't think he's a conservative. I mean, it's one thing to have bad policy positions when you're 18, but in the last 10 years, I mean, on the, on the conservative side, he supported single payer. He supported the stimulus bill. Nancy Pelosi, um, uh, Wiener. But this is not good stuff for conservatives. But Congressman, his supporters, they're not conservative. I mean, it's been pretty clear. His supporters are, some of them are former Democrats. Some of them are just frustrated at the system. That seems to be what Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, Jeb Bush, we can go down the line, John Kasich, they have failed to uh, tap into. Well, I would, dis I would disagree with that um, because there are some who are just new voters who were Democrat voters, and he's done a good job of bringing those folks in. But I can tell you in my own district, in my own state, there's a lot of conservatives who are frustrated, they, and they believe that he's going to accomplish the goals of the conservative movement. And what we have to think about is, uh, as conservatives, Barack Obama has done a horrible job on the economy and foreign policy, and we need conservative leadership if we're going to save America. And Donald Trump is not going to offer conservative leadership in the White House. He doesn't share those principles. We don't know what we're going to get with Donald. And that's why it's so important that you have a tried and true conservative like Rubio, who is honest and trustworthy on Lake Cruz, you, to win the nomination and take on Hillary. Can you, uh, how much harder do you think it will be for your reelection if Donald Trump's at the top of the ticket in Wisconsin? You know, I, listen, he, he, he brings in a lot of different folks, but it's, 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 it's tough, Chuck, when you have to defend some of the crazy things that he says. Um, and I don't want to be in a position to have to defend that, but I will tell you, if it's a choice between Donald and Hillary or Bernie, I'm going to go with Donald, because I know I'm going to get with Hurley, uh, Hillary and Bernie, and it's going to be more socialism and what do you say to the policy. I'm curious, what do you say to the Washington Post editorial that says, you know what, Republican leaders, they need to be able to take it another step further, that if you want to stop Trump, you got to be willing to, to say, you know what, I'm not going over the cliff with him. But, but, but I think the point to them is, it's not our responsibility. I mean, we have a democracy. Um, the American people, the American Republican voters, get to decide who their nominee is. And so I think it's important that Rubio, and Rubio is the guy that has to make the argument, along with some of our help, to the American people that there's a better pathway, more conservative leadership that's tried and true in Marco Rubio, and the risk of Donald Trump isn't worth it. If people want to burn down Washington now, Chuck, because of the dysfunction um, and the lack of movement of, of, of good legislation, just think they're going to have pitchforks out if Donald Trump is the president. Uh, it's going to be a larger disaster than it has been under Barack Obama. All right, Congressman Sean Duffy, I will leave it hey. there. Thanks very much.